morning Ibiza. Good morning world. Good morning outstanding February weather and welcome to the latest in Charles Marlowe's video tours. I am delighted to be welcoming you today to San Lorenzo. We are in the heart of the island, surrounded by lush green hills everywhere you look. The views here really are outstanding and I am beyond excited to be showing you around this particular house today. An absolute favourite of mine, one of the best in class on the market for sale without a doubt in Ibiza and I'm delighted to say exclusively for sale through Charles Marlowe. Her name is Can Citrus. Allow me to show you around. Let's go. Okay, so follow me towards the main entrance of the house, past this nice olive tree as we do. Before we go inside, I'll tell you a few facts and figures about this one. This is a Blackstad designed home. We have five double bedrooms split over two floors. A constructed space of 560 square metres, sitting on this gorgeous plot of nearly 25,000 square metres. The home, in all its essence, is brand new. Everything's impeccable, but don't take my word for that. Come on inside and we'll take a look. I mean, straight away you can start to feel the beauty of everything that a Blackstad house presents to you immediately. First of all, you come into this gorgeous reception room, combination of style, symmetry, comfort, a wonderful fireplace just here for the cooler winter months to snuggle up with the family. Floods and floods of natural light. This is a really cool space indeed. Let me take you through to an even cooler space, I think. Passing by some lovely red roses as we do. We just had Valentine's Day into this amazing kitchen. Let me get rid of this lemon. I think we can agree this is the most important room of any house, isn't it? The kitchen, and are there many homes that do it better than this one? Look at it, it's absolutely gorgeous. We've got a huge fridge freezer. We've got a wine cooler, all sub-zero appliances, only the best will do. This huge cooker, this wonderful island, which acts as the centerpiece for the space. And as we go down this end of the room, this really beautiful oak table. You can get, what are we at? Eight, 10 people around here quite comfortably. You can imagine the kids having their breakfast, doing a bit of homework. As I mentioned, this is the real hub of family life happening in here. Let me take you outside quickly. This is the door I came out of at the beginning of the film. I'd just like to show you some of these outstanding outdoor spaces and this fantastic swimming pool. As I've mentioned, it is winter at the moment, believe it or not but I can imagine in the summer months, we have some alfresco dining going on here, a few more sunbeds. One thing that you will be getting a lot of use of is this magnificent 20 meter infinity pool. Taking a dip in here, you can really appreciate the beautiful San Lorenzo countryside all around you. You can smell the fruit on the trees even at this time of year and the birds singing above me. Outstanding location, I love it around here so much. Come on, back inside, I'll show you some of the bedrooms and other living spaces. Ah, yes, whilst I am here, worth pointing out, you'll see here a touch screen panel. You'll see a few of them dotted around the house. This controls the underfloor heating, which goes everywhere. It controls the air conditioning, which goes everywhere. So whilst we're in a home with the essence of a true authentic thinker, we're also in a home which has the latest technology built throughout it for all of your needs. Back through the front door, just to remind you, we had this wonderful reception space through here. At this end of the house, down here actually we have a guest bathroom, laundry, which perhaps not be the most glamorous aspect of home life, is still outstandingly beautiful, as you might expect. Here we have the first guest bedroom to show you. Not one of the larger ones actually, but still a very good size. It has terrace access, a double bed, stone walls, which have become a theme of this house, which you'll get to see in a moment. Wonderful ensuite bathroom just through there. Go and take a look. Come into this absolutely outstanding TV room. Uh, it feels cosy, but it's definitely not small, very spacious, if anything. It's certainly something that isn't small. There's enormous TV right here, speakers above it, surround sound behind the seating area. You're certainly going to get the full effect of that Hollywood movie that you're snuggled up watching in here. And then we go straight through here and we come to the second bedroom that we're going to have a look at today. And this really is the second master bedroom I look at it as. So we've got a big king size four poster bed terrace access once again and then we come up these couple of stairs into the bathroom area. I really love this space. 
plenty of it and it's really beautifully done. We have a freestanding bath just here. Privacy of the bamboo outside the window so you can bathe in peace and relaxation. I love this feature. Vintage style taps, again, freestanding out of the ground. I've not really seen that before. That looks really, really cool. Shower and loo to the left. Basin behind me with these really gorgeous blue and white tiles. I've seen those throughout the house a little bit, a recurring theme. They're really pretty, as are, of course, the Sabina beams that are above me on the ceiling, typical of a Blackstad creation. So that's two of the bedrooms that we've seen, both on the ground floor. The other three are upstairs on the first floor. Come with me. Let's go take a look. We'll dash up these stairs. Speaking of running themes, another skylight here. Floods of light coming in here. Very light, very airy. And then as we come up the stairwell, I'd love to take you through here into the master bedroom. The biggest bedroom of the lot, as you might expect, very spacious. We've got again a king size four poster bed here. Plenty of floor space here to make of it what you will. By like much of the house, this acts as a bit of a blank canvas in here. Plenty of opportunity to add a few more bits of furniture, a few more pieces of art, really make it your own, very homely. We come out of here and we've got these outstanding views. Now to the south on this side of the room, to the east over here. Got a great vantage point to overlook the kids in the swimming pool or perhaps having a kick around on the glass there. Back behind the four poster bed, cleverly hidden away, you wouldn't really necessarily notice it was here. A big walk in wardrobe. And I come out on the other side of the bed, perfect opportunity to have a look at the ensuite bathroom. And this is a really good size in here. We, again, we've got similar details to what we saw downstairs, these vintage freestanding taps overlooking the bathtub, these wonderful blue and white tiles that I'm such a fan of. There's more of them in here on the floor, but also the work surface where you'll find this double basin and these outstanding views out towards the east. And look, we've got built-in speakers into the ceiling so you can enjoy your favorite tunes while you're having that bath. Speaking of which, we come back out into the bedroom and you'll see this throughout the house a little bit. Everything set up to have your appliances put in. You want to put a TV here? No problem at all. The Wi-Fi booster is already there, so that's that problem solved. We've got plenty of plugs because you are going to want to add things to this bedroom, undoubtedly, as time goes by. All of those details have been thought of for you to have the final input. And then coming out of the master bedroom, I'll show you the conclusion to the first floor. Two really cute guest bedrooms. This one right here, double bed, storage either side of said bed and then this way to the larger guest bedroom here. Again, we've got these views that I'm such a fan of out to the south just here. Nice double bed, double storage either side of this wonderful little desk. Once again, the sockets for all of your appliances have already been thought of. Everything's taken care of as far as that's concerned. These two guest bedrooms share this wonderful bathroom. Again, the common themes that we've seen, it looks so pretty, I'm such a big fan. Yeah, this is a really good space once again. Okay, so coming back downstairs into the main reception room and I'm gonna go back out through the front door again here. Worth pointing out, if we were leaving for real, and again, I'd use the technology to set the alarm, put the lights on timers, do all of those things that you can now do in these cool new houses. Back out through the main porchway, I was a little bit worried that you may not have got an opportunity to see the beautiful outdoor spaces at the front of the video. So please take a look around because it is absolutely gorgeous. This wonderful driveway, which acts as the approach to the house and frames it like the work of art that it is. Either side of it, you have an abundance of fruit trees. You've got a vegetable patch just here. The whole essence of nature really envelops you in this part of the island, but within this house in particular. And this path also acts as a very clever separation from the main house and the beautiful gardens and this driveway car parking area of the property, which splits into two actually. You've got one strand of the driveway here that comes up. You bring your car up here, unload the shopping, you're quite close to the house. But down a few more steps here, this vast space. You can see a couple of cars parked down the other end of there, but you can only begin to imagine how many more you can squeeze in. It's very, very big. Leaving the driveway behind me, I come back through into here. And again, look at this, gorgeous courtyard, olive trees, fruit trees all around me, a little secluded area. I can imagine having a little drink soiree. You could even set up a table here to have dinner amongst nature. A few fairy lights amongst the trees. That'd be special, wouldn't it? Imagine that, really, really gorgeous asset. 
walking through. Let's have another look and finish off again. And then as we come out back onto this gorgeous lawn area outside of the main house again, it's such a stunning day today. I just want to put a towel down and sunbathe, but I'm not going to do that just yet. But I will leave you with the lasting image of the gorgeous can citrus behind me. So thank you very much for joining me in the tour today. I hope you've enjoyed looking around this beautiful home as much as I've enjoyed showing it to you. It's a real beauty. I hope you'll agree. We're going to do more of these video tours, so please subscribe to our channel to be the first to view them. Let us know in the comment box about the type of thing you'd like to see, any other suggestions, or better still, come and visit us here in sunny Ibiza or beautiful Mallorca, and we look forward to showing you some of these gorgeous homes in the flesh. Until next time, I'll see you on our next video. Bye for now.